But yeah, see that I'll tell you, but yeah, when we come on stage for Sarah yeah, Winford, yeah, yeah, I, I did talk this now. Yeah. Oh my God, I have to talk about this interview. This interview with RT Boss, Queenie, and Amari, absolutely epic. Like, what more do we need from January? January, you have given us gems. You have given us the ray. You have given us the boy. And you have given us the lad. What more do you want? Honestly, you need a money pull up. Like, I am thoroughly entertained. If I never did go through my little stresses of life and all kind of stuff like that, every day I would have been here talking about all of the content where these artists have been given to us. Like, if February Black History Month, we do not pipe down, I don't know what next to say, because we have to go on with the antics them now. We can't go on so February Black History Month. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Reggae month. Mm-mm. We can't, we can't go on so. Okay? So, all of the people that will have more cascas and drama inside, just release it before the 31st of January, okay? Because we're after we do Black History Month, Reggae Month, better than this. Ladies and gentlemen, peacemaker, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amari. Yes, sir. Bless you. Good to see you. Yeah. Queenie. Glad to God. This is for you. Oh, wow. You deserve flowers. Oh. Hey, guys. I'm Dutty Bear, and welcome to the Dutty Bear Show YouTube channel, home of the best pop culture reviews to keep you entertained and informed. Now, today, I am talking about Queenie, Lady Gangsta, and that epic almost fight with Amari in the middle of the onstage interview. No, this is what I have to say. It's like Sir Winford Williams sit down and watch Jeffrey, a Russian, and then um, TJ with interview and them look at something there. And then now him watch Nightly Fix over there. We're going to get an interview, exclusive interview with Kyle Butler. And Winford Williams said, Stop. Step aside now. The OG is about to take over. And Winford add himself to the chat. Just like that. <laughs> No, where do I be making? So, you know, on social media, we saw this video with um this moment between Queenie and um Amari. They were reconnected by RT Boss. Uh, he said that he's a dancehall artist and a spiritual advisor. And so he's a person that I guess is the middleman between both uh social media personalities. I love this girl. girl for God and time. God and time. <laughs> And so, um, and so I saw the video and I'm like, well, this is that ticking time bomb. It's only a matter of time before the two of them kick off, but I was very much here for it. Because if those of you who follow me upon the social media countdown, you don't know a long time I beg for this friendship between Amari and Queen Lady Gangster. Because sometimes when young people add it like that, it's because you don't have a lot more in common than, um, you know, um, with the opposite of common. And common? That not in common. Yes, that is it, Barry. That not in common. And so I just felt that there could be a world in a different universe where Amari and Queenie could coexist. And so um, Winford seems as if he invited them there um, to, I guess, talk about a bunch of things. Because, you know, say, um, 
Uno no se Amari, she 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 always has something to talk about, especially coming off of the heels of Golibop, her ex's off funeral. Um, you know, um also the reconnection or the 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 the, the, the squashing of the beef between her and um Queenie, as well as this new friendship between um them and RT Boss. And so I'm like, okay. Winford kick off the interview, you know, man. I am just like, all right, then this is going cool. But I noticed how far Amari was. So there's a song for everyone, a new song for everyone? No, it's that's ex, uh, you. I, I would say it's a song for everyone throughout the world. I mean, it's where you. The three you're involved in this song. No. Uh, something about Amari seat to look like it just like, too far from Queenie and RT. I said something, yeah, man. There is a separation in the midst. Something they right here, so and I'm going to figure out what is going to happen, right? So the interview start for go progress now. I mean, like, okay, things are going good, but you see the moment when RT Boss decided to go up and fit him knee and bow down in front of Queenie and and. He's talking about the three hundred dollar. I pay her so much time, but before me pay you again, um, I would like to Squidford. I'm not mashing up the show, but Queenie is a long time now. What you saying? What kind of stupid you, this is this? This is the I'm talking about. What you understand? Because me you, 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 you want me to be a part of your team it's not and like, you refuse to treat us equally. No, no disrespect, well, Queenie. Martin, you understand? No, you're crying, right. peace, peace. But you see that out there, but you're going to come on stage it's for it's so, it's Sorry, Winford. I didn't know. I'm a Oh, easy. Hold on. This real? Him, sir, I make all the muck on me. I sneak up from it. RT, what RT could have seen us? That's taking the piss, RT. I'm still married. <laughs> <laughs> what the stop on? Every time, every time you, 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 you see, he <laughs> When you see people, when you see what happened, I'm just like, why is this another um sting part two? Like Amari needs to pipe down. It's like I'm still don't understand if Amari is really just portraying this character. Like she is definitely always in character. You know, like oh, you have some people like Kizidan. I have like Britney Pan TikTok where sometimes them go on with them antics. It really make you wonder if that is them a hundred percent of the time. Or are they just performing this um, character and staying true to this role? Like, them not ease up our fight none time. Once Amari see video like she's going to put on a show. But like, my God, to put on that show must be really exhausting. So is Amari completely just losing it? Or is she the most intelligent woman that we've ever seen? And sometimes I really feel like Amari is low-key very aware she knows how to play this game i have to give her our props for that and so queen over there now just sit down there like queen never feel like say amari they got thump her in her face like me i wonder if i saw queen it's just fully bad or is it that you know so amari is a walkover because queen never really budge no time like me i feel wonder were they all in it hashtag high school musical were they all in this together was amari and rt boss in on it and queen over there just clueless me confused I am confused, but I'm here for the spectacle. And poor Winford over there, sit down there, just like, me know, as an interviewer myself, you know, an entertainment journalist myself, in the middle of when I see things like that, you're just like, oh God, thank you, God, thank you, God, this is good TV. Thank you, God, thank you, God. They might kick them, they might kick each other in them face right now, you know, but cameraman, please to ensure that the battery them charge up everything plug in and that you're getting all of this. All if them were to check one water bottle and throw it on my face, just make sure so the camera touch it. In your name, I pray, amen. Because this is views and this is January and January is going on with itself. So please team. Make sure it's a Una catch everything. And that is what Unstage did. Why? This is why we get one extended footage. Because Unstage now realizes the type of antics where Una people on social media want to see. So Unstage is just like, you know what? Make a feed, you know. Una don't want decent interview. Una don't want things to enlighten, you know. Una don't want the Ray, the boy, and the lad. And so what am I going to do? I'm going to feed it to Una appetite. Mm -hmm. Una don't want a palate cleanser. Una don't want drama. Una don't want war. So we're going to give you the carbohydrates. Come on, man. Get this sugar high. And so I'm 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 part of that sugar high company. They enjoy everything 
with the interview. Now, RT Bash jump on now, say, I'm going to propose to Queen if it's for um, God. Say, I'm propose to her, but then it's really like a, a, a friendship um, promise ring. Has to be more Behavior. calmer because this is why I'm saying we have shows, we have things to do. You can keep on reacting this way, am I? Remember, we have a contract going on. So we're wearing ring for we the tenth story in our one. So what's the purpose the of the ring? That? Is for a friendship. Oh, oh yeah, my married woman. Our friendship ring. The so, ring is a friendship of love. Okay. Because oh, till we get there. So we're not what there. We are here now. Oh, I'm today. Queen, you don't know where I'm going. Everything was just chaos, and then Amari just switches up now and start to give Queenie a standing ovation and a big piece of Oscar winning speech. Like, I'm just like, come on, man, not even Shirley Ralph could have delivered a speech like that because Amari. I want to tell the world this. When for before we go, the world needs to know that what me and Queen Lady Gangster did for Sting, nobody else will be able or have ever done. Yeah, you understand? I do not like the way Queen Lady Gangster was treated at Sting. She was going through a lot. She had traveled from afar. My and my own and unlike me, she's willing to do these shows without getting lump sum of monies yes. up front. True. You understand? She Maybe I need to find a new work and go do script writing because the way how her personality changed in real time from being upset and jealous and, and just like went to just praising Queenie. And then Queenie with, with fear, walking with her emotions on her sleeve, start for ball. Husband would, would really stand by her because, you know, she, 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 she has ambition, she has goals, and she's going to reach very, very, very far because you know what they can't take away from her? Her personality. Okay. I'm married. Just making it clear to the world. Like, honestly, like, me don't know, me don't know, like, at this point, I want a reality show. Give us a reality show. Queenie, Amari, and RT Boss. Like, I am there. Because right now, Una, I give a um, um, real housewives, Bowl and the Beautiful, Sunset Beach. Una, I give me cushy. Everything in a one session pan Winford show. So, honestly, so honestly, I am just... Boy, I just love this interview. And this interview just gone viral now. People are reshare, I retweet. And boy, January is just a gift that keeps on giving now towards the end now, the makeup and then a hug. And one of the things that I realize is that RT Boss, you're smart. Sure, people have it say he might be a close cloud chase and all of that. But as Queenie mentioned in the interview, them both are use each other. And clearly, him have money because Queenie say she making millions off of RT Boss for just a user for promote. So... Right there and then it has said to me, say, Queenie, do your thing because you're smart. You know where I'm going. Okay. Um, Amari, she knows how to put on a show. She knows how to be the villain. And I think she is staying true to her character. And that is her persona. Right? And um, so all of them, them fit for each other. They make for each other. All of them are a part of the game. And even in the midst of the confusion, them equally as confused and them are confused that, the, each other. But at the end of the day, you know who them really are be? We, because we sit down and eat up and ask the questions then because we just can't understand if this is really reality. We have to wonder if I, if, I, if I script them and read because this is just genius, okay? This is genius. And so, um, I don't know what I'm going to say right now. Win for the win for this interview. And I really like that he just allowed everything to play out. He just made them kind of take over the interview. And it was very smart because that is how you got this virality and all of these gems and, and everything. So... Boy, oh boy, um, Queenie, big up yourself. Um, Amari, big up yourself. Y'all are real and true entertainers. Okay, but oh, the Queenie met their Super Bowl. There's some place out on the weekend and stuff like that. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it. Like, anyway, burritos, we don't drop off of the mode. Let me know what was your favorite part of the interview and which area you feel like one of the one to talk about. Leave a comment down below so that I can address it in the social media countdown on Monday. Anyway, guys, that is it. You know, uh, Dutty Berry here, uh, social media personality, uh, the home of the best pop culture reviews right here on the Dutty Berry Show YouTube channel. Anyway, take care until next time. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. All right? <laughs> you have to Just sit down. Saying, all right. You think I forget you, that you right. left I have something. To, I have 100,000. Listen, no, listen, I have something for you. Just sit down. Hold on. Just, just sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. Let's hear. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. 